All too often, social media is jammed with pics of crowded subway platforms. These pictures show the problems yesterday morning after trains were delayed or even stuck due to signal problems on the A, B, C, D, E, F, and M trains. Our riders have already declared this an emergency. We recognize this is an emergency. So what's the MTA doing to fix things exactly? Right now, what we need to do is our, our own forensics on these delays and figure out how to avoid them and when they occur, how to react more quickly. So basically, there's no plan yet. But earlier this week, MTA officials announced they'll get rid of some pre-recorded messages. Instead, in an effort to better communicate, they'll have train operators directly explain subway issues to riders. The main issue, they say, is the aging system. Replacing an aging large component like a signal system or an interlocking, that takes time. The challenge is how to work with the contractors who do this kind of work with us and figure out how they can manufacture equipment faster, be on the property faster. So can they speed it up and when can commuters expect a more dependable ride? I don't have the answer for that today. Meantime, Governor Cuomo introduced legislation that would give him total control of the MTA board. It would allow him to appoint two more board members and give an additional vote to the chairman. This whole thing about changing the board structure and all this, to me, is just a bunch of politics. What we need is to have a full-time executive director. If the governor wants to accept complete accountability for this system, more power to them. I think that's right. Accountability is great, but a working subway system, riders say, would be even better. Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. The MTA does say that there's no timeline for when the review of subway delays and how to better handle them will be complete.